Hey, it's Lee Ritchie from Seven Mountains Media. You guys are going to enjoy this. Check this out. It feels like the first time. Feels like the very first time. You're as cold as ice. You're willing to sacrifice our love. How are you? You guys are going to love this. My guest is cold as ice, yet hot-blooded. He's a jukebox hero, and more importantly, he's a 2024 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominee, Lou Graham, the voice of Foreigner. Hello, Lou. How are you? We are doing great. Congratulations on the nomination. Yeah, that, that's so awesome. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Foreigner? Not in the Hall of Fame. What the f- I think I joined Paul McCartney <laughs> in thinking that you guys were, I thought you were nominated and inducted years ago. I think a lot of people think that. I mean, a, a lot of our contemporaries are in. We all know about, about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame <laughs> and the nomination process. It can be a little, little goofy sometimes, but um, having such a long and successful career and this coming now, does it mean just as much as it ever would or maybe more so? To me, it does. Yeah, it's very, very satisfying to to be honored like this after years and years of, of hard work, writing, recording, and more time than that, performing. I, I've got to imagine, at least I'm hoping that, and by the way, I, I voted last night. You guys have a very comfortable second. I, I think it's a sure thing. You better mark that off on your calendar, Lou. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wait till the, last, the end of the last day. Then I'm... <laughs> We want to encourage everybody to uh, to go and vote at the Rock Hall of Fame for Foreigner. Um, I, I'm I'm hoping and keeping my fingers crossed that you will be joining the guys to perform that night. I, I hope so too. I've heard that uh, that we're, we're going to play a song or two, and, and I was told that that I would be singing. Fantastic. Well, they usually go for the original lineup, which of course yep. you are right there. So that would that'd be fantastic. That'd be great. It'd be, be, be great. fun to get together with everybody and. and Play a couple songs, you know. So many great songs. What do you choose for an event like this? I, I certainly would want Jukebox Hero to be one of them. Oh, yeah. And and uh, I would guess I want to know what love is, is the other one. That would be great, man. The, the, the place will go nuts. It'll it'll be wonderful. Born and raised in Rochester, New York, and uh, you, you still call Rochester home, at least most of the time. What is it about this area? Uh, I, I just think it's the familiarity, the people. They're good, hardworking people that yes. have been through a lot lately. They'll still, they'll still say hello to you and hold out their hand. And, and um, it, it's just, it's just the way this area is up here. And, and I also love the beauty of the area. Can you pretty much walk around and and you know enjoy your your quiet time and your privacy here, or do people still kind of recognize you and stop and talk to you? Well, they'll, they'll come up and say say hello, and I'll I'll talk for. For a minute, maybe, but but yeah, no, I think that they understand that that I'm not there to talk to them. I'm doing other things. You know, you know I remember a few years back, Lou, uh, being in the audience to see Keith Urban over at CMAC, and and you were there as well. And Keith mentioned it from the stage, and I yes. could tell he was just beaming to have you there. Uh, and we had a nice conversation backstage before before he went on. Yep. That's cool. I know. I know the music of Foreigner uh, has been a big influence on so many artists, Keith included. 
Yeah, that's what he told me. You know, I, I could believe that. His his songwriting is exemplary. You know that. Oh, he's a great artist. Yeah, and, and all, although he's considered a country artist, I, I think his his music uh, crosses all boundaries. You wrote a song and recorded uh, "Rev on the Red Line," which is clearly about Lake Avenue and Rochester. Were there any other songs that you recorded that were written about Rochester or the the Western New York area? Not, not that I can remember. I, I think I think that one's the is the one. <laughs> That's the one for sure. It's a great line. It brings you back to a certain time, uh, and that is for sure. Does. It definitely does. Yes. So much has changed. I was looking at your schedule and it doesn't appear to me that you've slowed down much at all. <laughs> well, you know, this is, this is my last year. Uh, I've announced that already. Have you? Uh, okay. And, yep. And uh, I've been doing it, geez, for almost 50 years. And I would like to um, turn my attention to my family and uh, my muscle cars. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, and, and and just enjoy myself uh, uh, knowing that when I lay down at night, it'll, it'll be in my own bed. Fantastic. Good for you. I know you're out on the road uh, doing more than a few days with Brett Michaels. How did that pairing come together? I, I, I did a show. I was on the same show with him. Uh, uh, I think it was maybe a, two years ago. And and we, we met after the show and hung out for about an hour. Mm -hmm. Had a lot of laughs. He's a real nice person, and and uh, he let me know that he was going to be touring extensively the next year, and would I be interested in doing some shows with him? And I says, I would love to do shows with you. How cool! What a treat! Yep. Yeah. And and, and uh, I don't I don't have to bring my band. His band is very good, and yeah. and uh, so they learned. I think I had to do five songs, so they learned. I told them what songs I'd like to do. They learned them, and they they performed them beautifully. Fantastic. And and this week, uh, just to come a little more present on Saturday night, you're going to be back up here at the Kodak Center with the All-Stars. That's right. That's right. That's going to be a fun show, boy. Now, this is a benefit for the, the Lou Graham Foundation, correct? That's correct. Yes. Well, tell me about the foundation. I know they, they encourage and they help uh, young musicians. Yes, it's, it's for the foundation for the benefit of, of younger musicians, not kids necessarily, I suppose it could be kids, but but it's for for um, you know teenagers and and people in their early twenties who who maybe know their instrument and are very proficient at it, but want to take it to the next step and maybe they have a song they'd like to record or something. So we provide them with with the money to go into this to a studio and and record a song or two. Very cool. And that's this coming Saturday night at the Kodak Center. I, I just looked before we started talking. There's a scattering of single tickets, I think, but it's it's getting close, folks. So if yes, you want to go, yeah, if you want to go see Lou this Saturday, you better uh, act on that pretty fast. I've always had this fantasy show in mind of of seeing Lou Graham, Dennis DeYoung, Steve Perry all together. Has that kind of thing ever crossed anybody's mind? I remember uh when when uh, Foreigner played with Journey, uh, this is this is going back to the uh, mid '80s. Okay, a and uh, the show we did a, a smattering of shows with them. They're all sold out, a and you know I'm an I'm an early riser, so so I was probably downstairs the next morning at the hotel for breakfast at about eight o'clock, <laughs> and uh, Steve comes wandering in, <laughs> a little little uh, bedraggled. Yeah, right. But, but uh, so so he says hi, and he, he asked me if he could sit down. I asked him to sit down, and he says, "You know," he goes, "I think this is just 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 off the top of my head." He goes, "I think that you and I should front a band with with um, uh, Ian McDonald from Foreigner, uh, uh, Neil Schoen." Oh, wow. from, yeah. from Journey. Uh, and so he had a couple people from Foreigner, a couple people from Journey. And, and I, I, uh, I said to him, I said, Steve, I says, what did you have to eat last night? I says, did you have a nightmare or something? <laughs> so it never went any farther than that breakfast chat, huh? That's all. We, we, we ended, ended up laughing about it before he left. But, but uh, when, he, when he came to sit down, he was, he was dead serious. Isn't that funny? I think it's a great idea. Yeah, give him a call, Lou. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Talking to the great Lou Graham, the original voice of Foreigner, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominee for 2024. Check out his uh, his webpage, lougrahamofficial.com. Also, check out lougrahamfoundation.org while you're at it and see what they're doing. They're doing some, some great work. So many songs uh, that you've blessed us with over the years. Do you have a personal favorite? You know, they're like my kids. Do you, do you, do you have a favorite kid? Yeah, well, there you go. I can't answer that. <laughs> my purse, I'm going to tell you my personal favorite, Long, Long Way From Home. Yeah, that's one of mine, too. Love that song. Love that's that the song. first song Mick and I wrote together. Is it, what, is it really? I didn't know that. Yes. About a small town, leaving a small town for the Apple and Decay. That's my story. Leaving that's Rochester it. For, for for New York City. There you and go. When I did leave for New York City, they were in the middle of an eight-week garbage strike. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, so the whole city stunk. Yeah, right. And, and that's that's where I I coined the phrase the Apple in Decay. That's awesome. That is so cool. And you heard it here first. Maybe not. It, maybe it's in your book. Uh, Jukebox Hero, great autobiography. Thank but you so much. You know what I'm thinking, though? Since you put that out, there's probably a lot you could add to that. There is. I, I've, I've already done one addendum to it already. Yeah, there, there was a second printing that had that had another chapter to it. Well, very it's good. About, it's about time again. Pretty soon they're going to have to stamp Rock and Roll Hall of Fame member on that cover for sure. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, it's going to happen, man. Thank you so much for taking time to talk to us. And uh, hopefully we'll get to see one of your shows uh, in, in this summer. If it, especially it's the last year you get a chance to go see Lou. Yep. This is, this is going to be it. Uh, I, I've been putting it off and putting it off. And, and uh, I, I still enjoy performing. But, but uh, you know, when you've been doing it for for, for as long as I have, it, it, the, 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 the travel is the worst. It, it really yes. takes its toll, you know. Yeah. And, and, and that's that's a sign that you're getting old. Well, I don't know about that, but the, the voice is still holding up, though, right? Yes, it is. They, they say it, it gets and, actually it's like like a muscle that gets stronger. Yeah. And I have a new album coming out at the end of the year. You do. Tell me about that real quick. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a new album and, and, and it's 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 um, song ideas and bits and pieces from from uh, my recording of my first album second album and shadow king now mm -hmm. what i mean is you know when you put an album out and you have 10 songs you might record 13 and pick the best 10. so then you got three three songs that you don't know what to do with and right, they sit right. there and the years go by you know so or, or maybe they're not complete songs maybe they're you have 10 songs on your album and there's a couple songs that you started and once the album was released you just forgot about them so, so when I when I was uh, looking to put out a new album, I, I had I had freshly written songs too, but but I just started uh, going through the tapes in, in my in my uh, tape closet, and and listening to these things that were 25, 30 years old, and the ideas were awesome. And that's so. I, so I started them that long ago, and I finished them about two years ago. Oh, fantastic! Well, I'm happy that they're going to see the light of day. That's that's yes, great. Yes, they are. Fantastic. Yeah, me too. We look forward to that, Lou. Thank you so much again, uh, and uh, and uh, safe travels up here to New York, and have a great show Saturday, and and hopefully we'll catch it uh, one of those dates out on the road this summer. You you going to be there Saturday? We'll try to make it up there. That'd be a blast. Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. Very good, Lou. Hey, Lou Graham, foreigner, go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and vote. Yes. More music on the way. Keep it where you've got it.